gives energy change and equilibrium. A knowledge of the sign and magnitude of the free energy change allows prediction of the spontaneity of the chemical reaction, prediction of useful work that can be extracted from it. If a chemical reaction is said to be in thermodynamic equilibrium, it means that the reaction in both the directions should proceed with a decrease in free energy, which is possible only if at equilibrium the free energy of the system is minimum. Delta Rg equals to zero. Gibbs energy delta Rg minus is related to the equilibrium constant as follows. Zero equals to delta Rg minus plus Rt ln k delta Rg minus equals to minus Rt ln k delta Rg minus equals to minus 2 3 naught 3 Rt log k delta Rg minus equals to delta R H minus minus T delta R S minus equals to minus R T ln K. For strongly endothermic reactions, the value of delta R H minus may be large and positive. In such a case, the value of K will be much smaller and reaction is unlikely to form much product. In case of exothermic reactions, delta R H minus is large and negative and delta R G minus is likely to be large and negative too. In such case, K will be greater than 1 and the reaction may lead to completion. If the changes in entropy are also taken into account, then depending upon a negative or positive value of delta R G minus varies with delta R S minus.